such form, Look here. such oh, grace. Excellent! Open those eyes! Let's see. This model may be the only beauty who gets assignments because of his wrinkles. Good job, Buddha. Buddha has the model figure of a blue point Sharpe. It only takes a bit of posturing for owner Marilyn Braunstein to sell her dog Buddha as a fashion king. He's wonderful in front of the camera. He's a ham and he's uh, become a very successful model. Okay, he's so a canine wave. supermodel. Wave. wave, come on boo. High five. This is a very humble dog and he's very easy to work with. Come on boo, give me a high five. Come His on. fee, a few yeah. biscuits. Oh. Come here Buddha, look, look. Good, high five. Good, good boy. Buddha is very food driven, he's very food motivated. Along with the Sharpe appetite, Buddha also boasts the breed's typical bravado. Good, yeah. Good. High five. Good. He's getting spent. Lordly and regal. Nice. Okay. A well proportioned head, okay. square profile, okay. and a muzzle like a hippopotamus. Exactly what the breed standard calls for. Buddha stand, stay, stand, stay, get the tail up. up Buddha up, up, is particularly in demand because Sharpe are normally unsuited for this type of work. They're very, very difficult dogs to train, and it takes a lot of working with them to uh, really get them to understand what you're asking them. They're intelligent, but they're not the type of dog that you can do things over and over and over again. Yeah, not too many are happy doing this. Okay, That's Buddha, Buddha, you ready? Photographer John oh, okay. Duback gives Buddha top marks for his yeah. modeling technique. He's trying so hard. Okay. Buddha was great. I've done a lot of dogs, and most of the times you can't keep them that still. Good job. Okay, over here, Buddha. Buddha's coat also makes him shine in the pictures. Blue is one of the rare colors. The breed standard calls for the coat to be solid, regardless of shade, and there are 10 solid shades in all. Just as any supermodel has a portfolio, so does Buddha. Buddha's portfolio speaks for itself. He's a true professional, whether in the studio or at home. Okay, let's go. Buddha here. The reason Marilyn purchased a Sharpe had less to do with their beauty than their basic instincts. Come on. I came home one night and I was in the house alone. I heard noises outside. And when I looked across my back window, I saw someone running across and there had been patio furniture that was knocked over and I had a prowler. So I turned off all the lights in the house, I called 911, they came down, they checked the area and they, they turned to me and they said, you know, you really need a dog. And the breed is naturally defensive of its home. It was an easy choice for Marilyn, for Sharpe are ancient law enforcers and they're more intimidating than any modern security system. Buddha, good boy. Although the Chinese Sharpe is no longer near extinction, it's changed. We changed the breed uh, uh, drastically. Uh, we Americanized them. China's original export was leggier and more agile, with short fur called a horse coat. This coat is primarily what was originally wanted in China. But the harsh hair rubbed Americans the wrong way. The longer brush coat was more their style. Oh, <laughs> look at her. Most Americans do not care as much for the horse coat. And the way Americans treat their dogs, they sleep in beds, they cuddle with their dogs, they want to be close uh, in contact with dogs. The horse coat is losing favor. The Made in America variety has also picked up a sweeter disposition. We made them into family pets rather than their original term fighting dog so that it now has a more lovable family cuddly image. Oh, that's oh great. It's so sweet. You may think of them as rare gems, but before you take in one of these Asian antiques, make sure there's no wrinkle to your plan. The Sharpe gets four points out of four for protection. From their earliest days, the breed has worked as a security guard. Burglars beware. For personality, two points. Loyal to loved ones, but suspicious of strangers. Health is a hazard, just one point. Although the lineage is improving, Sharpe have several genetic and skin ailments. Maintenance, 
two points. The Sharpe house trains easily, but needs regular ear and coat cleaning. And the Sharpe gets four points out of four for originality. They are truly a one-of-a-kind breed. This puppy is expected to be a one-of-a-kind surprise package. Well, I don't really want to give her up, but I know I have to. She's, she's a beautiful baby. She's just a sweetheart. Trula and Jim Kyleblock are in the home stretch after an eight-hour drive from Oregon. This is the red ribbon that's going to go around her little head like that, so she would look like a little Christmas present. Well, we'll see you there. Their mission? To bring this puppy home to Trula's sister, Barb, a gift to help mend Barb's broken heart. Her own Sharpe, Bear, passed away only months ago. Now, with the help of Trula and Jim, Barb's children can surprise their mother with the gift she wants most of all, a brand new baby Sharpe. Barb doesn't suspect a thing. This is exciting, oh, a very exciting moment. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Barb is overwhelmed by her gift. I don't know what to say. Surprise? <laughs> I'm very surprised. I have a wonderful family. I'm going to cry. I have a lot to be thankful for. And I just thank you all for this puppy. It feels just like our other puppy that we had. And this puppy comes with a special connection. This is Bear's niece. Is it really? This is Bear's niece. It is Pookie's granddaughter. Should we go ahead and take this off? Oh, yes, everyone needs a Sharpe. Checking everything out in your new home, aren't you? Oh, you're just a beautiful baby. Oh, yes, I oh, love that baby. The Sharpe's sharp looks and sharing spirit make it a breed apart from all others.